anybody else who is ever tempted to do the wrong thing in these circumstances, seeing these corporate failures and corporate abuse, it just cannot continue. And we need to make sure people realise if it happens, they'll be held to account. So, David Davis. Yeah. 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 Can I start by congratulating the Minister and his immediate predecessor for the sterling work yeah. they have done yeah. in attempting to bring justice to this problem. But the government needs to do four things. It needs to stop the post office unnecessarily challenging the victims' appeals and find a more, me a more rapid method to exonerate uh, all of the innocent victims. To instruct the post office to stop hiring expensive lawyers yeah. to challenge the compensation claims yeah. and, and, and therefore to accelerate the payment mechanism. Yeah. To strip away the post office's right to police its own cases yeah. and to accelerate the investigatory procedures uh, prior to criminal prosecutions of the real villains in this case. Yeah, yeah, which of course yeah. are, well we know who they are. Does the minister believe he can achieve those four aims in months rather than years? Minister. Well, can I thank him for his kind words and also all his work in, his, in the campaign for justice for postmasters. And I can also congratulate him on his recent knighthood himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the whole of Yorkshire are rejoicing at that, uh, his award. But um, I, I can assure him on all four counts. Yes, we want a more rapid, rapid means of overturning convictions. Yes, we want to make sure the post office doesn't challenge unfairly any uh, attempt to overturn those convictions. Um, yes, in terms of uh, making sure the uh, investigatory uh, uh, process happens more quickly. Of course, some of these matters are outside our control, as he is fully aware, the separation of powers. But, um, but in terms of the actual policing of cases, I'm happy to talk to him probably after these, uh, these statements in terms of what precisely he means by that. I think in terms of the way the compensation schemes are running, there is independent elements to all that. They are not being policed or not being uh, restricted by the post office themselves. There are independent panels or independent assessments as part of all those processes. But very happy to talk to him in detail about what we can do in those areas. Chair of the Select Committee. 